school today, right? <laughs> you didn't get to go to England. I know, because I went to Japan. Japan goes Okay. Um, so, Kevin, tell us, why are you leaving now? Uh -huh. um, is this your decision? Sure, it yeah, it's absolutely okay. my decision. Uh, Mick Mulvaney and I have been talking about it for a few weeks. Uh, we, uh, I've been looking ahead to it to this summer uh, for quite some time uh, because the history of the CEA is that the CEA chair changes about every two years. Uh, I think that uh, President Clinton had four CEA chairs, if I'm counting right. Uh, President Bush had five. President Obama had four. And I think that that turnover, if you study the institution, is very important because uh, CEA is meant to be kind of like CBO, the subjective advisor. And the longer you stay here, the closer you get with everybody and uh, maybe the harder it is to be objective. And so, and so I think as a celebration, really, of the organization, it's important for CEA chairs to leave after two years. When did you tell President Trump what was his reaction? Yeah, I told President Trump last week. We spoke in the back room at the end of the day, uh, maybe was there for about half an hour, and we had a really pleasant, friendly conversation. I think his tweet kind of reflects the strength of our relationship, and we're both a little bit sad, but uh, I think it's time for me to move on. And, and the CEA is going to be in really strong hands. Um, the president's looking at a number of candidates, but we've got a big, powerful team built for next year, and so the CEA will continue to function well. Sorry. Do you, do you have a timeline for when he might name the replacement? Uh, the president mentioned that he was going to name the replacement as soon as he got back, and I would expect that very shortly after he arrives, that'll be true.